the question here actually is not very simple, right? Not like general approximation question that we get. Here it says 65.145 squared plus 46.11 whole square minus 93.579 into 2.415 equals to what? Like I've already mentioned, these special techniques like root digit method, unit digit method, etc., will not work here. Okay. Now the, the first step while answering questions from approximations is to look at the options. Look at the options 6247, 6096, 6232, 6320, 6167. In my view, these options are close, too close. Yes or no? Because see, 6247 and 6232, what's the difference? 15 is the difference. What we can do is try to do the simplest approximation first and see if we get some idea out of it. Right? Like for example, like what all of you have done, I, I could see most of you uh, saying the answer is 65 squared plus 46 squared minus we have done something. So basically 65.145 has been approximated to 65. So 0.145 has been neglected, right? Similarly, 46.11 has been approximated to 46. So 0.11 has been neglected. It's not 0.11. Remember that 0.11 goes into square and that too with 46.11. So it, it actually gives you a bigger value, but we are neglecting it. So you must realize that 65 square plus 46 square will be lesser than 65.145 square plus 46.11 square. That, that idea should be there with you, right? That should be there in your head. That whatever I'm going to solve will give me a result which is more than the actual result. Because that, help, that will help you eliminate wrong answers, right? You know that answer will be more than whatever you have got here. Then look at the last part, 93.579 into 2.415. 93.579 into 2.415. I have told you, if you have gone through the approximations video, you would know that when you are multiplying two numbers, A and B, and, and when you want to do an approximation, you should always, I mean, if at all you want to do changes in both the numbers, always increase one number and decrease the other one. If you have increased A, decrease B. If you have decreased A, increase B. So let's, let's follow the same here. 93.579 into 2.415. Let us take it as approximately 93.5 into 2.5. Into it's like I'm, I'm decreasing the first value, all, all, although negligible uh, decrement there, but decreasing the first one, increasing the second one. So see what happens. What is 65 square? 65 square, you all know, is 4,225 plus 46 square. How do you calculate 46? We have discussed all these things in speed maths, right? 65 square will be 4225. Within no time, you would know that is 4225. Then uh, 46 square. What is 46 square? How do you do it? 50 minus 4, right? So 2500 minus 400 is 2100 plus 4 square 16. So 2116, 2116 minus 93.5 into 2.5. To make it easier, let us take it as 94. I mean, of course, you are like, again, violating the rule. You have increased both the values, but multiplying 93.5, you can do an approximate calculation. Like for example, 93.5 into 2 will be 187. And 187 and half of 93.5 is approximately 47. So 187 plus 47, 234 will be the value. 93.5 into 2.5, approximately I can say 234. Without even taking it as 94. Forget about 94. How do you do it? See 93.5, let me consider the same 93.5. 93.5 has to be multiplied by 2.5. That means 93.5 should be taken two times and then should be taken half time, half a time, right? So 93.5 into 2. 187 and half of 93.5 will be uh, will be like 47. So 187 and 47 will be 234. Now, now try to do the calculation here. How much is this? 4200 plus 2100 is 6300. Or, or let's let's work only on the hundreds first. 225 and 116. How much is that? 341. 341 minus 234. Are you able to follow? 225 minus 116. 225. Forget about the thousands. Anyway, 4,000 plus 2,000 will give you 6,000. Now work on the hundreds. 225 and 116 is 341. 341 minus 234. You're able to follow. 341 minus 234. So 300 minus 200 is 100. 41 minus 34 is how much? How much is 41 minus 34? It is 7. So 107. So 6107. 6107 is what we get. 6107. Are you able to follow? 6107. Now look at the options. See, we know that answer will be answer will be more than what we have got here. Yes or no? Answer has to be more than 6107. This is an approximate answer. This is an approximate answer. Actual answer will be greater than it will be greater than 6107, right? Actual answer 
will be greater than 6107. Why is it so? Because 65.145 was reduced to 65. 46.11 was reduced to 46. Here we have kind of taken very close to the actual value. So it should be more than 6107. Now try to eliminate. So I think we can say 6096 is eliminated. See, it, it should be more than 6107, but it cannot be 6300. I mean, that's a big difference, right? These are all big differences. So it looks like approximately 6167. I think we should mark 6167 as answer.